So I'm out with the dogs again. Uh, like I said this morning, I was going to walk along the viaduct, and that's what I'm doing now. Uh, my phone is going to ping a few times, I think, on the walk because with it, we were birthday people put in birthday messages to my uh, Facebook timeline. So, uh, yeah. I felt uh, a bit of a rubbing on my leg. My underpants are rubbing my leg a little bit. So what I've done is uh, I've took my other underpants off and put them on, put a different pair on. Uh, I think today, I think we'll do Greetland. Uh, yeah, same thing with Greetland. But I normally go straight towards the rugby club, like the, the path. So what I could do, which is a little different, is go through the Greetland bit like normal. Uh, and then when I get to the top, walk past Sportsman, yeah, Sportsman Inn. Like going on to like Barkersland area. And then uh, make my way to Nolan Moor. Do a little bit of a loop around the moor. Uh, and then make my way back down like a pathway all the way to the off-road crossroads bay yeah I like the sound of that wow Whew, bit out of breath now the last time I came this way was when it was all like wet and awful what a difference the weather makes eh what an absolute difference. So, I've got two cereal bars, I've got a pie, uh, and I've got a caramel square that I got from the sandwich shop in Siddle. And I've got a monster energy drink as well, I can feel a bit of sleep there. God, no, I think I can't, I can't see it now. So yeah, I set off at about 20 to 12. Yeah. 20 to 12. So if I get back for like 1.40, then I've done... Oh, bloody hell, that was a big job. So yeah, 1.40, 12. Forget what time it is now. So I set off at 11.40. If I get back for 1.40, then... Uh, I've given the dogs a good walk. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, that sounds like a, a nice, um, like little walk. <laughs> I say a little, it's like two hours. But it would be quite nice to do a 10k of a birthday. It would. I think it's if I push myself and I do tie myself out and the dogs, then uh, I've got the rest of the afternoon then to uh, chill. And then uh, I think it's tomorrow, Saturday, tomorrow. Going to Stockport. Stock no. Southport. Not Stockport, Southport. <sighs> Get it right. Oh, it's so nice to come back along here and it not be raining. It's not gonna rain the whole day. <sighs> I could just practically do the same walk I did when I called my walk a wet tank here. Possibly. Possibly. Or just tweak it up a little bit. Yeah. Just tweak it. Whew. Hopefully I can vlog along here with ease. 
because the last time I walked along here, along with the fact that it was raining and not the good weather, it was very heavy commute period still. And thankfully it's not a very heavy commute period now, what, at 5 to 12? Hardly doubt it. There might still be a little bit of midday commute, but it won't be hectic. Nah, doubt it. Highly doubt it. Itch. So I've got one video editing. A half an hour video rendering I should say not editing but it's edited but rendering um, and then I have a because I've saved all my videos that I've edited so far to my hard drive plugged it in and I've decided to upload my Tolson Museum Castle Hill vlog which is about 50 minutes long put that up and then uh, yeah, start to clear some more space on my hard drive so I can put some more vlogs on. There's still like 620 gigabytes free, but I don't normally see people out around here in person. Hardly see anyone because it's nice for a change. And I'm walking around here, there's people out in the spots that I would normally pick to do a video uh, not quite the same Phew. 1 1.5 miles in 27 minutes so I'm actually below my average actually above my average of minutes Every bit of my every minute count. I'm gonna vlog in bits because this road seems to always be busy. So I'm gonna walk up to the top. I might actually walk past the uh, rugby club, you know, Greetland All Rounders, and then, uh, well, make my way to Northern Moor. What a difference the right pair of underpants makes, eh? I felt by the left bit of my groin rubbing and it was just sharp uh, and that was like a mile into the walk I was like oh no nothing now well okay I can feel a tiny little bit of irritation but it's not terrible it's all right <sighs> Oh, wow, it's warm. Well, it's not warm, it's just I'm warm. <laughs> There's points where you get a lot of traffic, but it doesn't last for very long. And you get points where it's like this, where it's just nothing, no traffic at all. <sighs> the only real bit of noise is someone using a chainsaw over there, and the car that's about to pass me. Ah, dog lane. It smells a bit of uh, manure around here. Oh. Oh. So I need to get past the rugby club. I remember coming here when uh, Michael performed with his bands. I think in ages ago, that was, well it was ages ago, it was 2014. So six years ago, from walking from home to here, I was like, felt well unfit well it wasn't because I wasn't feeling unfit it's because I was unfit and uh, walking from there to here felt like a long way away which to me nowadays doesn't wow just, just stop for a moment I mean, I can hear a car just in the distance, but that pure quietness 
just nothing. Whew. When I go towards Norland Way, it should be quieter. And the car's just pulled out of where I'm about to go. Hey. Back to no sound at all. Actually, just hear little bits of birds and the nature around me. And just my footsteps, that's all. That's all I can hear. I think one day me and Ryan should eat in Sportsman Inn. Just if Ryan would go. I would. I'm not sure if he would. And this pub up here as well. Same thing with that. Yeah. Well, there's not many cars up here. I was thinking, well, on the main road, going past like Sportsman Inn, or the place is called Springbrook Inn. Uh, all these pl these places I've never been to, but passed them countless times, but never actually been in them. So uh, I think I should one day. Really, really do. Oh god. Oh yeah, there was a path. When I was by the community, by that field over there, there was a path saying like, oh, you can go that way. I'm like, you can't. It's all really overgrown, even to the point where it's like, not even passable. I think if you came, if you went through that way, you kind of had an idea of where it would come out. But from the other side, it's like, you've got no idea. Everyone's giving me birthday messages. There's people I actually forgot I was friends with and actually forgot existed throughout Facebook and such. And uh, yeah, I remember all the times that I've been given stuff for free on my birthday, like a, the band from Austria, our MVP, giving me their album for my birthday. Seems like a long time ago. It really does. Well, it is. It's like six, seven years ago. Damn things are damn, damn things are different. Couldn't say it then. Things were different. Whew. Sure as hell was. So it was nice to do a 10k today. I'm just enjoying being out really, just do that and uh, then take the dogs out in the evening for like half an hour or so, or an hour, no half an hour, yeah probably probably half an hour or so in the, the evening. <sighs> that looks a bit wet. <laughs> so yeah, just in the distance. Is Nolan Moore going that way? So, the last time I looked at my mileage was 2.9 miles, so I bet now it is like 3 miles. So I've done 5k in like 52 53 minutes, and the way I'm gonna go is just a little bit of an extra walk is to go past Nolan Moore. And do a loop around and then go back onto the crossroads. This is the first for me. I've never actually been to Norland Moor on my own with the dog. Well, with the dogs. So this is the first for me. You see, I was gonna go this way, and there's a road that goes like down to Silver Bridge, but then you can kind of like loop back around sat alongside the main road but not be on it uh, which is away from the main road and then uh, go back to 
the off-road crossroads bit where I've been to many times but go down the hill so I thought rather than go along the main road where there's traffic potentially I've seen a lot of Yorkshire water vehicles walk around walk drive around that area so uh, I'll do main road no, just skim around the main road and then uh, well go to that point go around because it turns out like if I end up doing this walk I can like miss out bits of Greetland then I can just go straight directly home just gonna be careful because this is a little bit wet Ooh, got it. Oh yeah. So I can actually go straight on. Because there's bits that are a bit waterlogged. Yeah, straight on. Yeah, we'll go straight on. Yeah, it's nice to come to Northern Moor. hell dogs you'll go back on your leads I can see why my dad likes to ride around here I can also see why the dogs like it on here as well doing this and not watching where I'm going there's this bit which is more convenient to walk along because it's drier actually it's more a switcheroo thing like switch from one side to the other but yeah I can see when my dad likes to ride up here and even though I've got like food and drink in my bag I'll only have it when I actually need it don't feel thirsty don't feel hungry or oh, so uh, I'll have it when uh, I need it at some point as well I need to find the path which goes right and head back to the main road, head to that little bit do the loop round and then uh, make my way down to the off-road crossroads oh yeah there's a path here yeah no it's not a path at all, it's flooded it's not what I thought it was. Nah, I have to keep going. But I did see someone walk along that way, bring that way further along. So at least I can, you know, walk that way. And plus as well, there is a car park down that way as well. So I can actually walk to that car park bit. So, I'm looking where I'm going on the map. I need to realistically be going straight that way. That way. Yeah, I can go that way. Yeah, I can go this way. So this is the pathway, so I am going the right direction now. I was anyway, but I just wanted to make sure I'm going the correct way. Just a little bit waterlogged. I mean, it's no surprise, it's rained quite a lot. So that's why I had to just walk through. Kind of like just shimmy in that way to make my way across suitably. Uh, oh yeah, that looks a bit damp. There we go. Back on somewhat of a normal path now well tread on yeah looking suitable so where's the uh, car park then because if I try to find where the car park is I'll walk the or walk down where the car park is and then uh, obviously put the dogs on the leads when I get towards the car park because if I try to put them on the, on the top of the hill and I fall down. I don't want that at all. 
So get them to the top, then walk uh, towards where I'm going. I was making out that it was quite bad. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was. But yeah, as soon as I get to the car park, which is literally straight down, I need to put the dogs on the leads and then make my way back to the crossroads. This might be interesting. This looks quite waterlogged. So, go straight on, then turn left. No, turn right. God, I can actually see Crossley Heath School from here. <laughs> I mean, I can't now because there's all the trees and shrubbery just blocking the view. <sighs> wow, it's well nice. <sighs> Lovely job, like, and then now I really need to turn. Uh, right here because I don't want to go too far this way so could go that way I'm actually going to go the opposite direction so Norland Moor no surprises was a little bit muddy and a little bit waterlogged but not 100% terrible though. So uh, I'm going to walk back to the crossroads now. And then um, at least there's no mud now. The dog's paws can dry off, the mud can flake off. Uh, and so as such. <sighs> Wowzers. Lovely. Nice little addition to walking rather than just instead just going down the crossroads and then carrying on. It's just nice to do that little bit of Norland to add on to it. So really nice, quite nice. So that goes back to the main road. Both these ways go the exact same way, but I'm going to go this way because it avoids the main road even more. So, uh, makes sense. <laughs> yes, it definitely makes sense. You know, when you enjoy yourself more, time just goes faster. It just, well, it just goes quicker anyway. I've been out for an hour and 50 minutes. 50, no, I haven't. An hour and 15 minutes. I feel like I've only been out for like 20 minutes. It seems like only five minutes ago since I was at the community. At, well, yeah, the community field. Not the, not the community field, what is it? The rugby club. I'm so used to walking there that it's embedded in my head. Oh yeah, mileage. Four. About four miles. It's crazy. It's crazy to think, isn't it? I'm just so far from the main road away. Oh, right. That way goes to Summer Bridge. Oh, just stop for a moment and think. There's just nothing, is there? And literally, Summer Bridge is down that way. What? 10 minutes in a car? About half an hour on foot. <sighs> Bliss. And you know, I've not even needed a drink yet. Bit thirsty, I admit, but not like desperation mode. And I'm feeling a little... When I was on the moor, I felt my stomach start to rumble a tiny little bit. But... Not even that bad, really. I think when I do get on that path that goes to the crossroads, I might get something out of my bag. Perhaps. You know, for when um, 
people write their message on Facebook saying happy birthday and such, it's appreciated. But it's so helpful that there's a preset uh, message saying thank you or thanks. <sighs> well, that's the rock saying welcome to Norland basically. And I'm about to leave. Bit sad, but uh, must go on. Entering uh, Greetland now. So I came down that way, went that way, along that way, looped around that path, and I'm now here again. <sighs> so I came that way, now this way, and I think it might be a good idea, Jamie, if I get on the pavement, because that is, uh, well, that's what it's for. Might be a good idea. You know what, amazingly, the walk doesn't overlap. I thought going through the moor, around the way I did, and then back, it would be like a figure of eight. I'm actually skimming the paths, the path walk route that I did, going in and then coming out. Just skim each other. So on a map, it does look like they are touching. Uh, but actually when you zoom in, or when I zoom in, the uh, roots are not touching each other. So it's still a circuit route. The roots are not overlapping. And is it this way? Oh no, that's not the way, is it? That's somebody's house. <laughs> oh, nice one though. Right, 4.4 miles. And I think when I get towards the, um, what do you call it, crossroads bit, it should be at about five. So it's just turned one o'clock. And I'll tell you the really bizarre thing. I don't feel tired. I actually don't. That's the weird thing. So... I keep saying it, and I'm going to keep say it, saying it, down to the crossroads, and then I'm going to go into the field. And the cool thing now is that the dogs can be off on the leads now. They can be, they not, they don't have to be on a lead. You know, I've not actually thought about the minutes on the watch. Let's just check, eh? If I can get my jumper down. Yeah, one more one. Yep, I had to use my hand. I was trying to just shimmy me. Uh, coat and jumper down my arm, just using my arm, and yeah, no, don't work. I had to stop and use my hand. So a minute, holy shit, uh, 974, <laughs> and my steps are at nearly 15,000. That's good, isn't it? Right, time to take my bag off and um, get something to eat out of a bag. I got to a point where I thought, oh, that's the end of it now. But it was just an illusion, it's still going. God, the dogs are absolutely crazy. But the last time I did look at my mileage, I was at 4.8. Stop barking, you two. So I literally only really need to skim through the field. I could zigzag, like going like left and right, left and right, left and right, from one end of the field to the other, and then make my way home. Because I said I was gonna get home for about two o'clock. And it's what time now? Ten past one. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. So, uh, make my way through the field and then make my way back through. I could do Greetland actually, go back through Greetland and then uh, make my way back home.
I've seen somebody drive along the, the road, I'm like, please don't come up here. Thankfully they're going to Copley Way. Things I would go to Copley myself, but I've done like five miles with the dogs. So I can just pretty much just cut through the park and then go home. Simple as. There are a lot of dog walkers going right. So I'm just going to go straight on. Uh, where that car was driving up. So I need to keep an eye out really for traffic. Well, not really traffic as such, but cars that come up here or down here. So listen out for the, the traffic of uh, cars. And then cut towards the field, which I can still do. Yeah. Phew. It's not where I wanted to go, but uh, anyway, I'm not going through the woods. I was thinking about it, but I thought if it's still muddy from the amount of rain I've had like yesterday and the day before, I don't want to chance it. You know what? I'm at 5.6 miles as of now in my current location. So I could actually just walk home normally. Like walk past the star pub and then walk back over the viaduct and then go back home. Yeah. No fancy, I might go this way, I might go that way. But just a straight, direct route home. Because it's more than half a mile to get from here to home. So, uh, well, 0.6 miles. It's more than 0.6 miles to get from here to home. I'm seeing a cyclist again. <laughs> so, my mileage just ticked just over to 6.3. Shit. I think when I do get home though, I need to dry the dogs. Which I don't think will take too long. I don't think. Uh, and with it being a Friday the 13th, I was like, oh, God, you hope nothing unlucky happens. Because Friday the 13th is a unlucky day. But so far, everything hasn't gone wrong. Uh, well, when I was uh, walking through Greetland, my phone rang and it was sort of hell work. And uh, the incident happened yesterday regarding the uh, colleague that was uh, being inappropriate to members of staff. And uh, he. Uh, said um, he wants me to take a statement uh, and uh, make a note of the recollection the recollection of events from yesterday all oh, right yeah my phone's just randomly pinging because I've got birthday messages coming through so rather than just go straight in which is the office. I mean, I'm not, like, it's my birthday today. It's my birthday. Do I really want to go into work today to make a statement? Not really, no. Not really. Uh, but, yeah, not, 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 not really, no. So, uh, I'm going to get home, try the dogs, put my phone on charge and make a note of everything that happened yesterday and uh, make sure I remember it for, remember it the best, I remember it well. I also need to get the pie out at 2 o'clock as well. Whew. 
and preferably put my phone on charge because uh, I have vlogged quite a lot on this walk it's weird coming back along the viaduct actually you know when you do a walk and it feels like you haven't done that far but you actually have it's one of them walks it's quite a surreal feeling anyway I've told my mum about the about the want they want me to come in and make a statement so we'll speak later speak soon if it comes to it that I have to go in today I don't really want to have to go in today but if I have to then uh, yeah not going tomorrow because I'm in Southport um, and then Sunday I'm off again so I could come in on one on the Sunday potentially yeah potentially so I wanted to get back for exactly 1.41 because that's when I set off well I set off at 11.41 <sighs> it's 1.38 it's going to be 1.39 hey nearly home I'm not going to do an outro because you never know I might be going back out you never know